If you guys want to win a free version of the Coloris 2 color wheel, make sure you like this video and comment anything below. I'm going to be giving away a free $15 purchased account to one lucky person in the comment section. So make sure you like this video, subscribe, comment, and share to your friends and enjoy the rest of the video. See you guys later. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Gary, and today I'm going to guys a video talking about a very, very useful Photoshop extension called Coloris 2.5. It can be pronounced Coloris or Coloris or Coloris or however you want to pronounce it. I prefer pronouncing it Coloris. But uh, basically what it is, as you guys can see on my screen right now, it's a very useful color swatch extension. And uh, it is free for 14 days, but you guys can purchase it for a low cost of $15 forever. So I'm going to go on the website right now and show you guys basically what it's made of. So if you go on the website in the description, you guys are going to go straight to the Coloris website itself. What it is, as I said before, it's just a color wheel. And it's very useful when you want to start saving your recent colors, doing web design, illustrations, and stuff like that. So as I said before, it does come with a 14 day free trial or you can buy it for $15. If I was you guys, I would purchase this right away because you're going to get nothing but positive stuff from this. So in all, what it does is it has, you know, color sliders, you know, shapes and effect. It has a lot of cool kind of things that you guys can uh, learn about and make your designs, you know, more top notch. It has like mixers, gradients and stuff like that. So as I said before, this the link will be in the description below. This is not a sponsored video. This is actually me just making it to help you guys get the best you guys can. So once you install it and basically go through the readme text and install it perfectly on your Photoshop, once you open it back up and you have the Coloris itself open, what you're going to have right here is just a really nice kind of color wheel. And really quick, you guys can change this from a triangle to a square. There's a little button right here. If you click it, it brings it to a triangle and square. For myself, I do prefer using the triangle. I think it's a lot easier to use and it's a lot nicer looking as well. And uh, I do not leave this up on my screen. I usually kind of put this below my navigation, above my layers, and just have it kind of sitting there. But of course, I want to just show you guys how you guys can use this to your best ability. So I'm just gonna show you guys right now how I can use it and really quickly. So right now, let's just say that we want to make just a very quick, um, a very quick brush gradient of blue. Let's just say we're gonna use reds today. So all you want to do is grab your little tool right here and you want to drag it straight to the reds and then grab this little circle and drag it straight to the bottom right hand corner or excuse me to the right hand side of the right corner. So really quickly you guys can even change this to different settings to uh, you know different schemes like triadic you know monochrome everything like that if you guys click on it it'll bring up these little swatches to show you guys where the uh, colors would be placed. Of course I like leaving it just straight on mono because I guess can have your own one color. So uh, once you click this little mixer right here, what's going to happen is it's going to be put down into your color history right here. So this is actually really, really cool that this thing offers it. So let's just say you want to take the little brush, you want to click it. Let's just say twice. Actually, we're going to take the hardness up a little bit. We just have one nice red color. So let's just say you want to make a very, very abrupt and very fast pretty much tone to make it nice and bright. So right here, you're going to see a little arrow, which is going to show you where your sample color is, which is going to be right in the middle. All you want to do is click right here and you want to actually just drag it to the right. And as you guys can see, I can't move my mouse right now, but in the top left hand corner of this extension, you guys can see that the circle, you know, gets changed. You guys can see if I move it around like this, you know, things start to change like that. So let's just say you want to go back to that red color. All you have to do is click and you guys can just drag it and then we can click once right next to it of course keep grabbing and sliding that um bar and you're really going to get a nice tone of this color so we can go all the way into a white color which is i'm not going to do for this video but uh let's just say you want to go back to that original red color you can do this either one of two ways you guys can click right here on this eyedrop tool and click in that red and what it's going to do is it's going to bring that color straight back into that color history and or you guys can click right back on the color in your color history swatch. So let's just say you want to start making, let's just say, excuse me for my phone, let's just say you want to start making um, shades and stuff of it. So all you want to do basically is the same exact thing you did recently to make tones, but all you want to do is just grab it and drag it to the left. And again, it's the same thing, you know, it does get darker. And soon you guys will be at a black color. And you guys can see in the top left hand corner of the Colors extension that it does change colors while you're doing it. And then you guys can go all the way to like a very dark color. 
So really quickly, if you guys do not have any of these um, mixers or sliders or stuff like this, what you want to do is just make click any button really, and right here is going to be these little dots, these scheme dots and swatches and stuff like that. If you click these on, you guys will have different things come up. So I prefer using the first and third one, which is going to be the color history and shades and toners. You guys can highlight over it and I'll tell you what it is. You guys can have specific swatches that you guys want like using, um, schemes. You guys can also have blenders, which is going to be like blending colors and stuff like that together. Of course, as I said before, I prefer using the first and third one. So even better, you guys can change stuff like this with the whole entire thing. There's a change to RGB mode, which is going to change the color within itself. And then you guys can change it back to uh, RYB mode. And then you guys right here have a gamut lock. What it does is it basically can lock your colors like this. And it's a very different kind of a... Uh, very different kind of tool and stuff. I prefer using the regular one, but you guys can change it to however your preference is. Again, you guys can have a luminosity lock, and uh, basically it is does the same thing as anything else. But uh, really quickly, you guys can actually change these to complementary, to triadic, and stuff like that, analogous colors, which is really cool because a lot of extensions do not offer this. As I said before, this is probably the best one that I could find. And uh, really quickly, if you guys installed it and it's not showing up for you, all you want to do is go to your window, extensions, and click on the Colorus extension itself. And again, I usually just like to drag this above my layers and put that in, and then you guys have all of this to yourself. Of course, when you have this auto sample off, it's not going to do too much, but I'd always leave that on for you guys. And really quickly, let's make another example for you guys. You guys can really start changing stuff. You guys can have like a purple, and then you guys can grab a brighter color and then you guys can literally just mess with colors and even so that you could create your own stocks that you guys could legit sell you guys can do a lot of different kind of things with this and uh, it's just a really cool effect overall it's a very very nice extension to have and uh, if you guys do have the $15 to spend on it I would definitely do it if you guys can't afford it it's lucky enough for you guys that I'm actually giving one of these away. So all you want to do right now is go into the description below or the comment section and comment on anything. Just say anything you want. You know, say like nice video, say anything really. Every comment that you make will totally put you into the running. Also like this video for you guys. And uh, basically that's it. I want to say thank you guys so much for almost 10,000 subscribers. It really means a lot that you guys have put this much effort into me and pretty much showed me all the support. As I said before, this is going to be in the link in the description below. You guys can go on the website. You guys can download the free trial for yourself or purchase it. As I said before, I will be releasing a full just free purchase to someone in the comments section. So let's get this to 100 likes. Let's get this video out and showing. And basically, that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe because this is really helping me out trying to make this more of a job. So as I said before, guys, comment below, like this video, subscribe, show it to your friends, do whatever you want, and I'll definitely see you guys in my next video. Peace out.